Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know I'm in a different location. I didn't feel like standing in front of my bookshelves today because I don't have a chair up there yet. I don't have a, I really need a stool. Not enough room for a chair, I really need a stool up there. Just something I can set my booty in. Anyway, my name is India <laughs> and this is going to be the February wrap up. Hi everybody, so like I was saying, my name is India and this month we are going to be doing the February wrap up. There's something flying in my face. I got it too. The February wrap up, um, which of course is, was really my black author readathon. Um, this is going to be my black author readathon wrap up. Yes, I know it's late. I know. Okay. You're not going to judge me. Anyway, anyway, let's get down to business. Okay. I read six books during the Black Author Readathon. Woo! Go me. I was surprised I made it through. Um, I'm not going to talk about them much, mainly because I don't remember much about them. You guys already know. I have my Goodreads pulled up. Let's do this. My phone's going to die soon, even though I'm at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. Does that plant look weird behind my head? It's dead. Don't even worry about it. I need to get fake ones. Anyway, so to start off the Black Author Readathon, I finished vows in name only by naima simone um this was a fake dating fake dating book i gave it four stars um <laughs> i'm really keeping this short guys i'm out of practice um next up i did haven i read haven beards and bondage number one by rebecca weatherspoon Oof, i gave it four stars Ooh, this one's this one was good it was, i just remember this being really good really good Next up, I read The Prince's Trap by Talia Hibbert. This is once again fake dating, um, fake marriage. Apparently that I was in that kind of mood in February. Um, I gave it four stars. Four stars. Um, the next one I finished, I don't have my, my bingo board in front of me or else I would tell you what these cat what these categories filled. Uh, let's see, I know one of them was definitely a novella. One of them um, obviously was fake dating, fake marriage. There's interracial relationships um, written outside of non-American author or something like that, something like that. Um, so those three. Um, Haven is technically a dark romance. Um, Beards and bondage. Come on, guys. Definitely dark romance. Um, Penny, no. Pen Pen's trying to be a part. This is why I also don't sit these days because Penny, everybody, Penny. Um, <sighs> next up, I read Naughty Boss Steamy Coffee Collection number one by Whitney G, who is a new author to me. Um, I had not read a Whitney G book. Um, and that's an office romance that also has to deal with publishing. So, you know, bookish from what I can remember. Um, next is Back in the Texans Bed, Texas Cattlemen's Club, Air Apparent Number One by Naima Simone. This was a second chance romance that I gave four stars. Four stars, guys. Guys. Um, and then I read Dirty Love, The Lion and the Mouse Number Two by Kenya Wright. I gave that five stars. You guys know I love that series. I love that series. I don't remember what I read it for other than the fact that I love Kenya Wright. I love that series. Um, I genuinely don't know where my where my um, bingo board is. Let me see. Let me see. I might be able to find it real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Like. Doo -doo -doo. Down. Sorry, I don't know why that popped into my head. You know when you go through your pictures and then you see like pictures of your past and you're like, did I really need to see that? So they just be popping up, especially if you have an iPhone for a while and you've had iCloud. It's all just in there, you know? It's in there. Your life is in the cloud. And it be judging you sometimes. And you're like, don't judge me. Where are okay here's the thingy the thingy but where is the bingo board yeah there it is okay so i did do a vlog post tbr i did not read historical romance so i did start a beverly jenkins Ooh, did i not read fantasy shots paranormal 
Uh-oh. I did not. That is unlike me. I read A Second Chance. I read a New to You. Ooh, I did read Single, New to, um, The Single Parent was also the Texas Bed one. Ooh, but I didn't read a sports romance. No, no sports romance. That would have given me a bingo on that line because I did read an interracial romance. Um, I did do Enemies to Lovers. That was The Boss. Realistic contemporary. I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't think I understand the category. I mean, like, realistic, I can make that the boss one. Childhood to grown folks, um, I could put that in, um, childhood, childhood, childhood. I think vows and name only, I could be completely off on that one. I could just be trying to stretch it so I can get at least one line, because this is my vlog post slash wrap up. Fake dating. I did an enemy slip. Anyway, okay, guys, I'm sorry. But, and so yeah, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six. So that was all six books. I know, guys, super short. I have two minute book reviews coming out on each one of them. And if you're a part of my Patreon, you guys get the longer version of those book reviews, which I'm gonna do while intoxicated. So I'm gonna be dressed differently. I'm not gonna look cute, but it's gonna be tons of fun. <laughs> uh, but anyway. That is it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this wrap-up of my February reads, my February wrap-up. I know it's scatterbrained as always. Love you guys. Mean it. Don't forget to join my Patreon if you want to see me hype them books up. Anyway, guys, love you. Mean it. Bye. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button. Don't forget to follow me on all of the social medias. And until next time... Keep turning the pages.